Hey guys, it's Croc here, and I have a review of another great Mac app. Um, it is typed by Real Mac Software, so let's get started. As you can see, the icon is right there, and then it just opens up a nice writing window with a quote and your word count in the right hand corner. And um, let's maximize it, and and it, you can just start writing as soon as you open. So it's really great. Um, so the the cow jumped over the moon. <laughs> we'll just write that. Okay, and what you can do is you can um, preview it, like if you if you use Markdown, um, and you can change the the background color and the font. Um, I like their 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 custom font, Typed Pro, and you can change it whether it's a responsive layout or um, you can change the size and justification. Um, you can also share it, copy it as HTML, mail messages, airdrop, or any of the custom services you have selected. Um, and you can disable that. Oh, and another cool feature, which no other writing app has, has Zen mode. And it will play, it will play like calming, surreal music while you're writing, just to give like um, just to let you focus better. So I mean that is one feature that is well worth the twenty dollars um, it costs to buy the app. Unfortunately, it isn't in the Mac App Store yet. You have to buy it from the Real Mac's website, but I'll have the link in the description. And it's on sale for a limited time for twenty dollars since it just came out. Um, that's about all there is to it. Oh, um, let's see, you can export to HTML or RTF. Um, it has version support and it auto saves. Um, you have all your markdown stuff and I think that's and let's see what the preferences are. You can change the um, you can play user interface sound effects, show inspirational quotes, or um, as you, you can see how the window is transparent shows my wallpaper in the background but you can disable that in settings um, so um, yeah that's about all I have to talk about um, so if you like this video please like rate comment and subscribe and and let me know what Mac apps you want to see reviewed next in the comments below so see ya